Hey everybody, we are here in Singapore and we have had an amazing conference um, with CRM and um, some things that I've learned through this process is that one, I'm making worldwide connections and that our God is really a God of the nations and we're going to just have connections with these people that we've made friends with and also I've learned the importance of having people in your lives to pray for you. Um, there's things in our lives that we are too close to, to see that they are still um, blocking us from the Lord. And I had a friend come um, who we just met this week, but she just was praying over me and she was calling some things out of me that I had no idea were still there that I was struggling with. And after she prayed for me, it was like just a new freedom was there for me and the boldness that I've been praying for at the beginning of the week is now really <laughs> I am just a bold person so get ready for a new Megan <laughs> but really it's just a boldness for Christ and uh, preparing me to be used intentionally um, and what else I learned is that the college students that have been a part of our life for the last five years um, they are going to teach us um, new things, and we're going to teach them new things, even in this new ministry that we're a part of. Um, we just have a lot of connections with some students that are part of our lives forever, and they are going to allow us to have generational eyes to see the needs of their age bracket because it's getting to where our age is becoming further and further away from theirs, and so that is exciting to know that. And also, one last thing. Um, I sense that when the Holy Spirit grabs hold of your heart and um, becomes just so tangible, um, there are some things that you're going to be called to do that are going to be uncomfortable, but you're not going to have a choice but to do them because you're going to be acting in obedience, which is where I'm at. Um, I just sense the Lord was preparing us to <clears throat> pray for our neighborhood and then that he was going to ask us to do some things that we wouldn't naturally do. And I'm getting ready for that and excited for how the Lord's going to use that new um, newness in my life to share with these people that we don't even know yet. So um, I can't wait to share more. There is so much more. I'm still processing it all, but um, that was just a little bit before we get to go to church with a Singapore group of about 25. It's like a church plant that... Um, we are going to go see what it's like to worship here in Singapore. So I look forward to sharing more with you guys. Love y'all. Miss you. And I can't wait to see you soon. Bye.